So do you want to take us through um, a little bit uh, of the of the process that you're using when you jump into Marmalade to do some of this research and how you use that as yeah. a tool? I have a fun one for everybody. If anybody that's listening wants to jump on and sign into their Marmalade account now, you can actually follow right along and do it with me. Um, we're not going to do a screen share. Um, we had problems with our Skype earlier, and I don't want to uh, <laughs> whammy us again and, and have us not on there. <laughs> but if you sign into your Skype and one of the uh, into your uh, Marmalade, one of the things um, that I like to do first thing in the morning um, is I head into trending. I want to know what's trending today, so I pop on in, and especially when I have orders waiting. Uh, for different um, customers that they're looking for titles and tags for. So I like to see what's trending. Is anything that I've got coming up, is it on the trending list? Because that's going to help me give them an advantage. So one of the things right now that's trending is called finger, fingerless gloves. It's number four on the trending list. And this is something a lot of people don't know. If you just go ahead and click on that, I know it's not highlighted, but if you click on that, it's going to bring you right into search, and it's going to search fingerless gloves for you which is one of the things I absolutely love. It's a time saver because the less times I have to type something, the better off I am. And what you see right now is you see the engagement is very high, although you will see the competition is high and you'll see the category is low. Um, and I love that. And I like to look at the metrics. I like to see how many average views a week. I like to see how many average faves um, for the week as well. You can see what your average price is. I take a quick scan down and I look at the pictures and say, okay, this fits with what my client is looking for or what I have that's available that I'm going to be selling. So I know this is, this is definitely a keyword I'm going to use. The other thing I look at is on the right-hand side under other ideas. Another thing a lot of people don't realize is as you're scanning down this, all of these are clickable as well. So I already know fingerless gloves is one that is a high keyword for me and that's one that's going to go into my list but another thing is I'm scanning down on the right hand side I notice it says fingerless gloves knitted so I'll click on that as well because this is a different keyword metric right here but it's still the same product at least I think it is and this is going to let me know doing a quick search again I'm going to see the numbers I'm going to see the pictures now what's good about this although it has moderate engagement it also has moderate competition. You can scan down and you see that the average views are 26.9 a week and the average fave is eight. And this is really good. This is now zooming in onto your actual potential customer. So what I like to do is I highlight and copy the fingers, fingerless gloves uh, knitted and then I head on into Storm. For me, Storm is one of the best things you guys ever came up with. Um, I know I had contacted you in the beginning and said, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing makes sense that's coming up. What does baby have to do with a sign, you know? And I had all kinds of baby clothes were coming up. And I was just, you guys have lost it. Well, then I got a nice I message that. back. <laughs> Calm down. This is what it's designed to do. Sort it out. Play with it. Give it a chance. I did. I love it. So when I put this in, you click on it, and it, all of a sudden it populates this huge list for you. And what I like about this is the first thing I do is anything that's green that has a high competition, as long as it pertains to pretty much what I'm, I'm looking at, I'm going to go ahead and click on it. Now, it has beanie. I don't know if beanie is for the hat or if this is for the toy. So in this particular case, I would let that go. There's one that says boot poppers, and this is going to sound strange, but I'm going to add that to my list as well. And then I'm just going to simply go right down the list and anything that pertains to what I'm doing, I'm going to click it and I'm going to send it right over there and I'm going to start this list. And as you go down and the more things you add to the list, the, the list on the left side keeps growing because it's saying, okay, you're liking this. We're going to bring back some other things that correlate with what you're clicking on. And suddenly you're going to discover you're having all these different things that are showing up that you never thought about before. So I'm just going to grab a few here. I come back over and you can save this list. I click save so I have it to come back to. And then I look through the list and anything that has all greens these are a niche market. These are things that people aren't paying attention to. And this is where you can say to yourself, oh my gosh, look at this. 
And one of the things on here are bridal gloves. Well, you have fingerless gloves. You have brides that get married in the winter. So if you had beautiful white uh, fingerless gloves, this might be something that a bride would be interested in. And then as you continue down, you're going to see that there's one that says lace gloves. So if you tie that all together, you suddenly now have A, a niche market. B, you have some very unique um, keywords to go ahead and mix up and make yourself your brand new titles with where you're going to stand out from everybody else because you have something totally different to stand out in a very crowded market where everybody else is just simply calling it fingerless gloves, winter gloves, the, the basics that people think of. So through Storm, you're able to come in here and see some things, but it also lets me notice one other thing. What popped up when we put in fingerless gloves? We saw a lot of hats and we saw a lot of headbands and we saw a lot of boot cuffs and we saw socks. So that got me thinking, I can also recommend to my client, you know what? You make this, this, and this as well. Why not bundle it? Because people are looking. There were solid greens that they're looking for the, for the boot cuffs. And it was solid green that they were looking for the knitted socks. So if you put it together as a package deal, you've got a win-win. You've got something that other people don't have. You have a beautiful gift set. You have something that pertains to the holiday season. You have something that can be a nice gift to, to bring to somebody. Um, for whatever it is. And so this is how I kind of fine tune all of this and make my list. I keep a whole list of it. Then I go back in and I use comparison. So with comparison, I'll take my different keywords that I just picked out of that list and I'll put them in and I'll mix them up because depending on the order of a keyword, it will depend on how it actually comes up in search. Mm -hmm. So although something Right now, fingerless gloves knitted comes up moderate. If you change and put the word knitted in the front, it may change the whole dynamics of this particular word yeah. and bring it to the forefront. And that becomes the difference in how um, I come about with finding the, actually the best uh, keywords for my clients to use so that we can then have a nice string of words that make sense. Want to make sure you separate with a comma and a space and then your next keyword or keyword phrase. I like the longer you can make your first one, the better you are. So I try to aim for three or four for my mm -hmm. first keyword phrase. Mm -hmm. Oh, and by the way, I switched up and put knitted fingerless gloves first. And we went to high engagement, moderate competition and low risk. So by changing that, you move yourself out of a high competition arena to a much better one for using uh, knitted fingerless gloves.